Okay, we're looking at another separable differential equation problem. This one's a little bit tougher than the last one. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. Uh, so we have x cubed times y prime. Uh, we can rewrite this y prime as dy dx. So why don't we do that and it'll, you'll see that it makes a little bit more sense about what we're about to do. So we, could, we just replaced the y prime with dy dx. Now what we're going to do is multiply this dx to both sides. We'll cancel out on the left side, so we'll get x cubed dy is equal to y squared times x minus 4 dx. Okay, so now we have uh, we have it split up. The dy is on one side, the dx is on the other. Now we just want to put all the x terms with the dx and all of the y terms with, or the y variables, I suppose, with the dy. So uh, multiply uh, y to the power of minus 2, or divide y squared by both sides. Um, so we will get y minus 2 dy. And we'll do the same thing uh, times x minus 3 to both sides. So we'll get times x minus 4 to the x minus 3 dx. Okay, so now we'll look, let's look at this. We have all of the y's on one side with the dy. All of the x's on one side with the dx. So now all we need to do is just integrate this, put in our integral signs. Um, now the left side will be easy. We see that we will have y to the minus 1. Um, actually, to make it a little cleaner, this is going to get messy if we have all of these. <clears throat> so let's just write this as 1 over y. Uh, negative 1 over y. Okay, uh, and then we'll take the constant over on the other side in one second. Now, if we look at the right-hand side, we see that there's a, we need to do integration by parts to solve this. So we'll just come up here, and we will just do this, the integration by parts, the fast way. We'll use our little table. Uh, so we'll have x minus 4, and we have, over here, we have x to the minus 3. Uh, now, to do integration by parts the fast way, you probably know, is we'll just take the derivative of this side until it hits 0, and we'll just keep integrating the side as we go down. So the derivative of this, x minus 4, is just 1, and then the derivative of 1 is 0. The integral of x to the minus 3 is x to the minus 2 times minus, uh, sorry, minus 1 half. <clears throat> and then the integral of x to the minus, well, the integral of this is just x to the minus 1, bring the minus 1 down, uh, and this becomes 1 half. All right, this is getting a little messy, but what we want to do is I'll just change the color so you can see here. We have plus and we have minus. Uh, if you do the integration by parts the long way, that's totally fine. Just this is a little bit quicker. So then we can rewrite this as x minus 4 times negative 1 half over x squared. <clears throat> and then we uh, minus these two. And we have 1 times 1 over 2. And that x is minus 1, so it's 1 over 2x. All right, so this is the this is actually the integral of x minus 4 to the power of x, or times x to the minus 3. If you don't remember how to do integration by parts, um, just look up this. It's really, this is just like the shortcut way to do it. Um, but this video isn't about integration by parts. Hopefully you know that by now. Um, so anyways, let's go back. So we found what the integral of the right-hand side is. It is, uh, well, there's a minus x minus 4 times 1 over 2x squared minus 1 over 2x. All right. Uh, and this is also, we need to put in that integration constant somewhere, so let's just put it here. All right, so first things first, uh, probably to make our lives easier, we should just multiply everything by, oops, uh, multiply everything by negative 1. So that'll get rid of that, it'll get rid of that, um, this will become positive, and this is an arbitrary constant, so it doesn't matter if it's plus or minus, because we don't even know what this number is. Um, so yeah, now what we want to do is just multiply, every, we want to get rid of these things in the bottom, it'll make our lives a little bit easier. So multiply every single term by 2x squared y. Okay, this is going to get a little messy, so 2x squared y times 1 over y is equal to 2x squared y times all this stuff, x minus 4, uh, we can just put this over here, times 2x over 2x squared, plus 
two x squared y all over two x plus two x squared y times c. Okay, so now let's go through and let's cancel out a little bit of stuff. So these y's cancel out, two x squared cancels out with two x squared, the twos cancel out, this x cancels out with that x, so we left with x, y on the top, and uh, we can't cancel out anything over here. So let's rewrite this again, we're getting close to the end. We have two x squared is equal to y, you know, let's distribute this through. So we have yx minus 4y plus xy, or we can just write it again, less confusion as yx, plus this whole guy, 2x squared y times c. All right, so we can combine these yx's into 2xy. <clears throat> so we get 2x squared is equal to 2 xy minus 4y oh, and then we have the last term plus 2x squared y times c. Now the last thing we probably just want to do is just divide everything by 2. So we can go over here and we will have um, x squared is equal to xy minus 2y plus x squared y times c. All right, uh, now this is, the, this is the general solution to our differential equation. Note that this is an implicit form. If we wanted to put it in explicit form, we could easily just factor out the y's and just make everything equal to y, but uh, you can do that on your own time. It's really simple after this point. The point of this video was just to you know, do the separable differential equation. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.